Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make and use an enumeration. Let's get started. So to make an enumeration, you need to right click in the content browser, go down to blueprints and select enumeration. So here I have an enumeration that is named my enum. Now I'm going to open it and here you will see two sections. The first section is the enumerators where you add your enumerators and then you have the description section. Now this description here will show up when you hover over the asset in the content browser. So to create enumerators you just click on the button here that says new and then it will add one enumerator so you can change the enumerators name and give it a description. And this description will show up when you hover over the enumerator in Blueprints. Now I am going to show you how to use enumerators in Blueprints. So here's a little example. I have set up a variable in this cube actor that when changed will change the size of the cube. So you can make it bigger or smaller. Now this can work if you have a simple Blueprint but when games start to become big then you would want to have something clearer, not just numbers. So that's when you would use an enumeration. So here I have created one, and it has the enumerators large, medium and small. And also here is the cube actor blueprint. So in the construction script, it switches between 0, 1 and 2 to change the size of the cube. Now to make this simpler for us, we're going to create a variable named myenum and if it's not selected already, you would want to change the variable type to the newly created enumeration. Now once it's changed, you're gonna change this variable to be public. Now drag the variable into the blueprint, get it, then from it, drag out and type switch. And you can select the first one. Now this will switch between the large, medium and small enumerators. So we're gonna connect all these nodes to each other now. So once everything is connected, we can try it out. So go back to the level, select the cube, and now we can change the enumerator. And if we change it to medium, then it switches to medium. If we change it to small, then it switches to small. So this is a very clear way of showing selections. Now you can also compare an enumerator to another one to see if they are the same. And to do that, you just drag out of your enumerator, then you type two equal symbols, then you want to select equal enum. Now you can see that it will compare these two enumerators together and if they are the same then it will re return true. Now enumerators can also be used as bytes. So that means you can compare if the two bytes of two different enumerators or the same enumerator is greater or smaller. So dragging out of here we can type in a greater symbol then you can see greater than or we can have a smaller than. And that's how you can compare an enumerator to a number. So that's how you can make and use enumerations. I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. And feel free to check out my Patreon page in the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.